guys and welcome to day 8 Now today is game day, I'm just fixing my bed um, Go test all done, teeth is all done um, Time to have a bit of breakfast now And I might go out and get a coffee quickly um, It is currently uh, 10 to 8 and we're leaving the hotel around 8.40ish um, The early group goes in 10 minutes but I'm in the later group um, had a decent sleep, not not too bad, not the best, but um, yeah, I'm still a little bit tired, as you can tell, but um, yeah, hopefully coffee will wake me up soon. <laughs> Alrighty, time to go grab a coffee. Keen. Alrighty, back in the room now, got my coffee, which is so good. Mm, very nice. Look at this, I've always got my hair, I've always got this one piece of hair that just flies out. It's just not long enough to go behind my um, ear, I just, and I don't like having bobby pins in my hair, so it's like, it's just, yeah, I don't know what it's doing, but. Yeah, um, I made a mistake yesterday when I first got my coffee. Um, I got it as soon as possible and I had a sip straight away and it just burnt my tongue. So today I've learnt my lesson. I haven't had a sip until just before and it tastes really good. I'm so glad I got a coffee before we left. Um, so we still got 20 minutes before we leave. Um, but yeah, just getting things ready. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention um, negative once again. As you can see, I've got all my test there for the results. But yeah, negative once again. Um, I don't know why I keep them. I just, I don't know. Not really sure. It's funny, throughout all the 100 um, competition, I kept I kept all of mine. So I've got them in like a, sort of like a memory box. Um, so like I've got a memory box for all my, from my whole life. And I basically labelled them um, COVID test, rapid, rapid COVID test from the 100. So um, they're all together, which is quite weird. Um, don't ask me why. Um, it's just, yeah, I don't know, quite random, but you know, that's me. <laughs> okay, so I'm not too sure if we're actually supposed to be allowed to wear the jumpers. So I've just taken it off, um, got the media polo on just because, yeah, it is um, game day and media polo is to the ground. Um, and I will just put this in my bag, really, just for, just in case. What do we think? Do we think tuck out, tuck in, sorry, tuck in? Or the tuck out? Ah. I don't know, I actually quite like the tuck in, but. Alrighty, let's head downstairs and head to game day.
Day. Oh, come on, first four, the worst, blah, first win on the board. Come on. Alrighty, shower all done. Um, just getting my clothes ready for laundry because there is a late pickup today, which is great because we have game day tomorrow at night. So, yeah, let's get laundry done pretty much. Okay, so back in the room now, um, just chilling out. Uh, we've got a preview meeting at 5.45, I think it is. Uh, just on Zoom, Zoom call. Um, yeah, wow, what a game. Um, we ended up winning the toss, we bowled first. Um, they got off to a fly, are they? Um, they were, they were 60 something odd after, after the power play. Um, ridiculous. Um, and then halfway they were at like 80 odd and then we ended up bowling them out for 120 something. Yeah, so we bowled them out for 129. Um, Heather Graham bowled really well. Um, she got four for 13 off her four or 3.5. Um, she bowled except exceptional, um, just used her change of pace really well. And we also had Hannah Darlington um, come down from the Australian squad because she missed out on the game, unfortunately, but bowled really well for us. Um, and yeah, fielded well as well. Um, I think it was a great game all around. And then we ended up chasing, um, yeah, getting the chase underway. Um, we opened with Elise Villani and George Redmayne. Um, they got off to a quick start as well, a few wickets in the bag. Um, I think we were two down in the power play. Um, and then the partnership between Georgia Bowl and Phoebe Litchfield was outstanding. Um, the way they went about their hitting and hitting their boundaries and then later on Heather Graham again um, with the bat was sensational um, to finish off in the end. Um, and then, yeah, I got out for a gone duck, <laughs> playing a sweet shot straight to the fielder. I decided it was going to be four, but yeah, oh well. <laughs> oh, I can't get the break, but um. Yeah, I was really happy with the way I bowled. I managed to get three for. Uh, I was very proud of my first over um, we get made, and um, I thought, yeah, my lines was pretty consistent. Um, very pace. Um, oh, I normally bowl between 60 to 70 k's. Um, so yeah, just trying to use the wind a little bit to get a bit more drift in and a bit more flight and some more dip as well. So it was quite hard, but um, yeah, all all. All in all, it was a good day out for Oz, Oze. Um, like I said, one on the board, and yeah, hopefully we can back it up tomorrow night. Alrighty, the time is about uh, almost five o'clock, so we've got a meeting, um, just a preview and review for tomorrow and today's game. Um, yeah, let's let's head on into this meeting. Alrighty, so team meeting done, time to head to Adelaide Oval to watch the main girls play. So good luck girls and kick their butts. <laughs> Come on girls, surely, surely start off the season well and beat the palms. Come on. <laughs>
installed. Talia McGrath, you absolute jet. Um, unbelievable. I think she got like three for in 91 or 48 or something like that. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, once again, so proud of her, the amount of work she's done on her game. And oh, just to see her come this far and batting that three for Australia, unbelievable. So oh, 
so proud. So, so proud of it. I thought um, England actually batted quite well. Um, they started off quite slow, but then gained momentum throughout um, the end of the power play and then throughout um, the overs. And they ended up on 1-6-9. And then, yeah, Australia just clinical uh, performance with the bat. Um, Meg Lanning and Tali McGrath. Um, yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable game. Um, yeah, really, really glad I went and watched it. So, yeah, um, back at the hotel now. Um, it is currently 10.30. Time to get ready for bed, pretty much. So I'm about to go brush my teeth, um, watch a bit of anime, and then hop into bed. Tomorrow we do have a later game, so thank God. Um, can have a bit of a sleeping, which is nice. So, yeah, looking forward to that, definitely. This is a long video and I do apologise, but I'm just about to get my plain clothes ready for tomorrow and my media polo and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then, yeah, gonna hop into bed. So, once again, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.